In other news, to ensure local, state and federal first responders know what to expect when heading into an emergency situation, authorities held a full scale drill today in Portland to find areas of improvement and reduce reaction time during the event of a plane crash. Just a reminder, everything you're about to see is a demonstration. News Center Maine's Caroline LaCour has more from the jet port. When preparing for disaster, emergency plans on paper don't always translate to real life. That's really the benefit of doing these drills is, is going through that, that functional engagement of the program and finding out where the weak spots are. To better equip crews for an emergency in real time, first responders in the greater Portland area are meeting on the tarmac at the Portland International Jet Port to simulate an airplane crash and emergency response. This is a requirement of the FAA that we do this at least once every three years. And so today we're doing that full scale exercise. Bringing in over 100 first responders from several agencies to take part in the drill. Around 75 volunteers are acting as passengers in the simulated crash. So it gives everybody a chance to work uh, inside of the airfield, which is something that is obviously be very hard to do on a normal basis. Portland Fire Deputy Chief John Sinet says his team has been training for this since March with a few goals for improvement in mind. We're just because of this layout, uh, water supply is very difficult, so we're testing to see our abilities to establish a water supply. On top of putting out fires on board, crews a few yards away are also testing out their response to a water landing. Uh, we're actually going to be transporting some of the volunteers to local hospitals. Again, this is a, a full-scale exercise really designed to test the entire system. Each volunteer pretending to be a passenger has been given a tag for first responders to look out for, listing any injuries they're experiencing. Today, none of the victims are real, so that, that obviously helps, but even just having that mental picture of what it would look like to see 70 or 80 people uh, injured out on the airfield is, is definitely not an easy thing. Equipping for the unexpected before danger strikes. In Portland, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine. Assistant Airport Director Zachary Sunquist said the airport did not face any interruptions while conducting the drill, but that also means they might have had some curious passengers flying overhead in need of an explanation.